Army used to have a slogan. It used to be a commercial that would come on. It would say, be all that you can be. They were trying to persuade young men and young women to join the U.S. Army. Because they said, if you join the Army, we're going to make we're gonna make you maximize your potential of who you are. So you can be in the Army and be all that you can be. Is that right, Tyrone? In our lesson this morning, Simon Peter is telling us the exact same thing. Saying, as a believer in Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah. you can be all that you can be. Yeah. 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 Amen. The army promised that they were going to train you <laughs> to be the perfect soldier. Well, yeah. Paul Peter guarantees us that if you take on the Christian training, yeah. right. you will be like Christ. Look what Simon Peter says first in verse 1. He says, Simon, which goes back to his, his original name when he was a fisherman. He, he wants his listeners to understand that I am a working class man just like you are. But when you say Simon, you got to remember Bar Jonah. He was the son of Jonah who was a fisherman who had a fleet of ships that caught fish. So he wants his readers to know, even though I spent time I'm just like you. I'm a working man. Yeah. Just like you. Then he says, Peter. Right. He says, now, as a result of the time I all spent right, with Jesus right, Christ, right. there was a change that happened in my life. Yeah. Now, no, no longer am I just Simon, but now I am Simon Peter, the rock who Jesus said, I'm on this rock. Yeah. I will yeah. build my church. Yeah. He said, I'm just like you, but since Jesus has come to my life, But really, all I am is a slave. Yeah. All right, come on. Up. Says a servant, a slave yeah. to who Jesus Christ. Yeah. Says who greater person would you be a slave to yeah. than the one who died for you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. He says, as an apostle, I have the great privilege of being there with Jesus and now sharing what I experienced yeah. with Jesus with you all. all right. He says, and listen. I'm writing this letter to them who have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. He yeah. said, even though I spent time with Jesus, even though I have been given his word to share with you, guess what? The same faith I have is the same faith that is in you. Ain't nothing special about it. We got the same faith. He says, says, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Then we get to verse 3, where our lesson is really coming from today. Right. He said, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Right. Truths about the knowledge of Christ. Christ's divine power committed to the apostles that have to do with salvation. All right. Listen to what Peter, listen to what Peter says. He said, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Christ has provided man everything necessary to live a good life. All right. Now this good life we're talking about, I ain't talking about getting cars and houses. Yeah. But this good life is living according to the word And goodliness. But he says life and godliness. Yes. Right. We gotta understand a good life is a godly life. Yeah, yeah. A good life is living by God's word and God's commands. Yeah. He says, uh, 
And, and, and it all this, because you know what, we, 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 we think we can't live a good life. But, but, but Peter wants us to understand that when Christ went to Calvary, died and gave his life, yeah. he gave us everything that was necessary for us to live yeah, yeah, yeah. a godly life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We can love. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. All right, all right. Like God loves. Yeah. 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 We can have peace. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 
Not only are we going to take the uh, divine nature, but we're going to escape moral deterioration. Man, have y'all, have y'all just paid attention to the world we live in? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Have, you really, have you really just yeah. taken a All look right. at the world? All right. Yeah. Mm. Yes, sir. And the world we live in? Yeah. And I think every day it's All getting right. worse. All right. All right. 
now. Just have it. You see that? Because that's where we live. But I got faith. Yeah. That's another, I got faith. Uh, yeah. I know God don't change things. Oh, yeah. oh, no. I know God don't make a way. I, I got faith. I'm trusting God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I got faith. But he said, look, with your faith, you ought to be adding some stuff to it. Right. Building on your faith. Yeah. The first thing he said to build on your faith is virtue. Uh -huh. And that word virtue means excellence. All right. He says the moral energy generated in believers by faith. Listen, the reason you live your life the way you do is because you have faith in yeah. Jesus. Let me explain it to you. Mm. Our lifestyle ought to be above everyone else's yeah. in the world. Mm. All right. It ain't about money. Yeah. No, no, no. It ain't about houses. Yeah.
let me say it again. You ought to know why you're doing what you're doing. All right. All right. Let, let me say it one more time. You ought to know right. why you are doing what you do yeah. in faith. Yeah. The problem with the church is too many of us have been said, well, my mama did it that way. Wow. And my daddy did it that way. I, I saw grandmama do it that way. But you ought to know. You listen. No way is this. All right. Is that you understand what God's will yeah. is. Yeah. 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 You understand yeah. what God's All right. will All right. is. Yeah. Not only do you understand it, understand. but that's what controls what you do. Yeah. All right. Y'all 
y'all respect me more than y'all respect God. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Some of y'all respect Pastor Skinner. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. More than you respect God. All right. Come on now. Because sometimes you won't say it from him. Uh huh. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. yeah. Bridget, Bridget. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. All right. yeah. There's some things you won't do in front of him. It's some stuff you don't even think in front of him. Some stuff you won't wear in front of him. Some places you ain't gonna go if you think he's gonna pass by. Hold up. Talk for each other. Come on up. You know what? When they see y'all in the marketplace, 
and y'all acting all kind of foo foo. You know what they say? I know what pastor's still teaching over there. Hold on. Come on. Yeah. Don't go to that good shepherd church, because I saw such and such out there. And they just let them do everything at that church. All right. I hear you. We all care about enough about each other that we're not going to bring shame to each other. And the last thing he says to add to your, to your faith is love. He says the right Christian attitude and behavior toward all men as persons. All men. He says to add love yeah. to your faith because you have to have the right attitude toward all oh. um. <laughs> All men. Yeah. All right. He didn't say the brotherhood. He said, all me. Yeah. Listen, we, we, we call ourselves Christians. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look what God did. For God so loved the world. The world yeah. Yeah. that he gave his only begotten son yeah. that if the world believed in him, yeah. they should not Not only does it 
safeguard against getting affected, but it safeguards against unfruitfulness. He says, uh, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. How much do you know about Jesus Christ? One reason we're not effectively learning about Jesus Christ is because we're not building on our faith. And the other reason we're not fruitfully learning about Jesus Christ is because we're not building on our faith. Yeah. You can't know Jesus staying in the same place you're at. Yeah. I don't think they understand. Yeah. Y'all don't understand what I said? Yeah. You can't know Jesus yeah. if you ain't trying to learn Jesus. Yeah. All right. All right. Because you'll never get to the point where you know everything about Jesus. Yeah. 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 Every day is a learning process yeah. in the knowledge yeah. of who Jesus Christ is. Yeah. And you know what? We know you ain't learning because you ain't bearing no fruit to say you are. Yeah. 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 All right. He got no patience. Mm. All right. All right. Mm. You're not me, y'all. Out of control. Yeah. Mm. You ain't got no you, everywhere you go hell break, I got peace. Oh, <laughs> and you the saddest person I ever met. Because you ain't bearing no fruit right. of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. He says that uh, verse 9, he says, but he doesn't lack these things is blind. That word blind means you dumb. That's just like going out and cutting a tree with an access door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody got the picture. You going to cut a tree down and your ass ain't sharp? You just beating up against the tree. That's all you're doing. You just hit the tree. And, and, and making no mark on the tree or nothing. Just beating on the tree. Boom. And listen, that's what a lot of Christianity is like. We, we so blind, we, we don't want to add our faith that we just beating on life and ain't making no marks on life. Just beating. Just be wearing ourselves out. Right. Just beating. Right. And beating. And beating. Just wearing ourselves out. Just tired. And then we say, oh, I'm just tired of being a Christian. Mm. I'm just tired. It's, it's just too hard. Because you're not adding anything to your faith. Yeah. Yeah. He says, now, not only are you mentally blind, but you have, you, 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 uh, he says, you uh, cannot see a far out. Now, what this is, that, I'm, I'm an electrician by trade. And there are some times when I go places and it's dark. So I bring a flashlight with me. And when I get in there, because it's dark, there are times I don't know which way the flashlight is pointing. So when I turn it on, it shines in my face. <laughs> and you know what my first response is? It's to turn away. Yeah. That's what Peter says. He says, when the light of Jesus Christ shines in our life, a lot of times we can't stand the light of Jesus Christ. And we just turn away. Because we're not building on our faith. Yeah. 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 Cause it's short sightedness. Yeah. Just blink all the time. Mm. You don't want to see, just keep blinking all the time. All right, all right. Mm. And it all, not only causes short sightedness and blindness, but it causes forgetfulness. Yeah. Uh -huh. He says, uh, yeah. and have forget, forgotten that he was purged from his own sin. Good. And it ain't the fact that we forgot that Jesus Christ died for us, saved us from our sin, and has cleansed us from our sin. But you know what happens? Y'all know what happens? We refuse to remember.